Welcome to my ultimate grease fin guide for both Explorer and Pioneer. In this guide, we will go over different builds, flex cards, sideboard guide, and common situations. If you are here just for a sideboard guide, I've included a Google Doc in the description, as well as a timestamp in the video. Please throw a like and subscribe if you found this video to be useful. If you are completely new to Grease Fang, the main goal of this deck is to fill up your graveyard with vehicles and use Grease Fang to bring them back and attack with them on the same turn. Each vehicle has a powerful enter the battlefield effect as well as effects on attacking. The three vehicles used are Ezekiel's Chariot, Sky Sovereign Console Flagship, and Parhelion 2. How you get them in the graveyard is where we will look at the different builds. When it comes to Grease Fang, there are two primary builds. A Delirium build that uses Vessel of Nascency, Wither Bloom Command, and Traverse the Uven Wall to achieve the Grease Fang combo. The other, my personal favorite, uses cards like Stitcher Supplier, More Can't Stay Away, and Eldritch Evolution to rapidly deploy a Grease Fang, and it can attack for 13 on turn 2. Despite these different builds, there are a few must-have cards in both lists. Other than the vehicles and Grease Fang, those cards are Thoughtseize, this is really your only way to interact with the opponent pre-sideboard. A well-timed Thought Seize can disrupt your opponent's game plan to buy you more time or sniper removal or counter spell that would hinder you from your own game plan. Grizzly Salvage. This is the optimal graveyard card being able to flip the top 5 instant speed and get a land or creature. You will often prioritize this over any of your other two drops. Rafine's Informant. Informant is great for putting an annoying Parhelion or any vehicle from your hand into your graveyard. You usually use this after a vehicle is sent back to your hand from Grease Fang, or if you start with the Grease Fang in hand and another vehicle. With common cards out of the way, let's take a look at the Delirium build first. This is by far the more popular of the builds for both Pioneer and Explorer. Although this version can't combo on turn 2 like the other build, this version has a bit more consistency in finding the Grease Fang and a little bit more resiliency from hate cards. This deck can easily achieve Delirium which is four different card types in your graveyard, by flipping over vehicles and Vessel of Nascency. Once said Delirium is accomplished, Traverse the Uvenwald will easily tutor up a Grease Fang. These builds tend to rely less on Can't Stay Away to find a Grease Fang, but fill up the graveyard with more spells instead of creatures like Stitcher Supplier and Seder Wayfinder. Wither Bloom Command is a card I personally don't like. It only mills three cards and returns a land, and the other modes tend not to be too useful, and it's a sorcery. Usually you will find yourself using the Mill and Drain modes, but sometimes you can snipe an Elvish Mystic against Mono Green decks. There are several flex slots for this deck you can consider, such as Collective Brutality, Duress, Liliana the Veil, and Scrapwork Mutt. I would say swap out any number of Witherboom Commands, 1-2 Vessel of Nascency, and Scrapwork Mutt to find the right balance of cards that you like. Just don't remove the core cards needed for the deck to function. The mana base is pretty straightforward. Most lists always run 4 Mana Confluence, 1 Viseju, 1 Tech and Numa, and the rest can be balanced with however many Blooming Marsh, Concealed Courtyards, or Razor Verge Thickets you want to play over Shocklands like God the Shrine or Temple Garden. I like having less Shocklands as you tend to take a lot of damage from Mana Confluence. And now my favorite build is the more riskier and faster deck that can attack with the Parhelion on turn 2. If you play a Stitcher Supplier on turn 1 and flip both a Parhelion or any vehicle, and a Grease Fang, the following turn you can play Can't Stay Away to return the Grease Fang and attack with that vehicle or Parhelion, whatever you flipped in the graveyard. This combo obviously doesn't happen often, but it's usually a quick concession from the opponent. This build looks to fill the graveyard with more creatures such as Stitcher Supplier and Seder Wayfinder, and running more Can't Stay Away to buy them back or return a flipped Grease Fang. These creatures end up being great blockers to buy you time, and can be used as fuel for your Eldritch Evolution. Eldritch Evolution is this deck's version of Traverse, and using it on any creature here other than your vehicle tokens will allow you to get a Grease Fang. I find Seder Wayfinder to be more effective than a Witherbloom Command since it can turn 4 cards instead of 3, and makes 4 a blocker to buy you time. The mana base can be the same as the other build, but I think 4 mana confluence is necessary in either. You never want to stumble on not having the correct mana colors. So let's take a look at common scenarios. One of the most common scenarios is deciding to use Grizzly Salvage over Seder Wayfinder. 99% of the time you will prioritize Salvage over all other cards. Consider this hand and imagine if the Grease Fang wasn't here and that was just another Thought Seize. If you Salvage at the end of their turn, you need to hit a Grease Fang, put a vehicle in the graveyard, and top deck a land to have the combo. Or take a land from the Salvage, put a vehicle in the graveyard, and top deck a Grease Fang. So in this case, playing the Wayfinder is the optimal play, since we already have the Grease Fang via the Evolution, we really just need to put cards in the graveyard and give ourselves a land. 
Also, we could consider the can't stay away in our hand if we had played the salvage, taken a land, and put a Grease Fang in the graveyard, but that scenario is worse than the Wayfinder line in my opinion. There can be a few other scenarios where you want the Wayfinder over the Salvage, but as a good rule, you may ask yourself, how can you assemble the combo the quickest? Salvage returns a creature or a land and mills one extra, so usually Salvage is the play. And for the Delirium Bill, you must always want to prioritize your Salvage and Vessel over your Witherbloom commands and Scrapboard Mutts. In this game, we are on the play and on our second turn. The decision to be made is to play the Rafine's Informant or the Seder Wayfinder. We know we can Eldritch Evolution the next turn to get a Grease Fang, so which play is better? The safer and better play is to play the Informant and discard the Chariot. This will guarantee that we have at least one vehicle for our Grease Fang to buy back. If we play the Wayfinder, we could get lucky and hit a Parhelion, but the chances of that are low and there's no need to take that risk at this point in the game. Let's watch what happens. We end up just drawing the Grease Fang naturally, and the Chariot play is good enough for the opponent to concede the game. In this game, we're on the draw playing against Mono Green Devotion. We had a decision on turn 1 to either Thought Seize or play Stitcher Supplier. Since they had a turn 1 Mystic and my hand was pretty weak, I think it's better to play the Thought Seize to take away a Karn if it's in their hand, as Karn will usually end the game for you. They ended up not having a Karn, so now we can set up a Seder Wayfinder into Supplier, plus can't stay away. Let's see how that worked out. We ended up flipping the cards we needed and could use Can't Stay Away to buy back the Grease Fang. This really shows you the power of the Can't Stay Away plus the Stitcher Supplier combo. Just a few other quick notes. When it comes to using Thoughtseize over a Vessel of Nascency, it comes down to a few factors. Being on the play, you will most likely want to Vessel to assemble your combo before they have time to disrupt. If you already have a Grease Fang plus a way to get a vehicle in the graveyard, then Thoughtseize will most likely be your better option. Sometimes, just hard casting a Chariot is good enough play. Don't hold on to them if you don't have anything better to do. Remember, you can Thoughtseize yourself if you have no other way of getting a vehicle from your hand to the graveyard. I would only do this as a last resort and if you already have a Grease Fang in hand. Let's go over the sideboard plan for the most common decks. As I said in the intro, I have included a document link in the description for the sideboard guide. For the video, I am basing it off the Eldritch Evolution version, but I will include in the document the other Delirium build as well. Although sideboards will vary based on user preference and meta changes, I am just showing the current sideboard I have been playing with and currently happy with. Obviously, you can adjust to fit your own playstyle and meta expectations. It's also important to note that almost every deck is running on Lysen's Hearst. I usually plan on getting these with Duress or Thoughtseize, but any matchup I think bringing in Enchantment or Artifact Hate isn't wrong. Against Rakdos midrange, Liliana is a very hard card for them to deal with, and resolving it on turn 3 on the play could be good enough to win the game. We want less Eldritch Evolution since they have so much removal spells, you will most likely have to rely on your Can't Stay Away to ensure a Grease Fang eventually sticks. Against Mono Green Devotion, Karn is backbreaking for our deck so we want all our duress to make sure we can snipe a Karn from their hand. We are looking to end the game fast as possible since their deck is much more powerful late game. Some people like to bring in Fatal Push for this, but I like to rely on my Thought Season Duress to get rid of their threats instead of slow down their ramp. For blue white control and creativity, counter spells is the biggest problem for us here, and farewell. We will want to remove all the Eldritch evolutions since we lose a creature and the spell. Sky's Sovereign is also questionable here since it only hits their planeswalkers. Against hidden strings, we want to be able to combo before they do and apply pressure. Duress and Thoughtseize is the best way to disrupt them. If you are playing Damping Sphere, this is the time to bring it in.
against rogues and spirits. This is probably our worst matchup, which is why I go so heavy on Fatal Push. Angels is generally a good matchup for us as long as they don't get the Righteous Valkyrie bonus pump. They will most likely have rest in peace, so we bring in our Terra Sunders. Also, Ray of Enfuelment pretty much kills everything in their deck. In the Mirror, we'll obviously bring in our Unlicensed Hearse to remove their graveyard and Ray of Enfeeblement because it does a good job of killing their Grease Fang. With our sideboarding out of the way, let's go over a few examples where Grease Fang is working as intended. Right, you can't ask for much more than this, other than maybe a Stitcher Supplier, but this hand looks really good. You can Grizzly Salvage into a Grease Fang. Thoughtseize or Thoughtseize or Supplier would have been really, really the icing on the cake here, but this hand is really nice. Just hopefully we find a vehicle to put in the graveyard with a salvage. Our hand is pretty good against Thoughtseize. If they take the Grease Fang, we just have Can't Stay Away. If they take the Salvage, we just have Wayfinder. They thought sees us again. I think here we want to play our salvage. They could just take that and then we wouldn't have anything to do. I imagine they're going to want to take the can't stay away though. And we just naturally draw a grease thing. Sorry, opponent. All that work with that thought sees. Look what happens. And we still have our Wayfinder to find us some more vehicles. Or we could always just hard cast the Chariot. Alright, they're gonna make me sack my own Grease Fang. So I guess we'll be just hard casting a Chariot here. They're at six. They'll go to nine. I would think this would still wrap this game up. Next turn we can Wayfinder and Eldritch Evolution to go find a Greasing. So they can go to 12. Yeah, that was just GG's anyway. All right, since we have no green sources, I think this is an easy mulligan. And this hand looks really strong other than not having a black source. We can keep this. I'll put back the Eldritch Evolution. Actually, let's put back a Temple Garden. We can Grease Fang, or the Seder Wayfinder will find us a land. And hopefully put a vehicle in the graveyard. Alright, well we found the land, but no vehicle yet. So we have the option of playing Eldritch Evolution on the Wayfinder to do a, find a Raffine's Informant. We could discard the Chariot and then the next turn we could play um, Grease Fang. But I think I like using the Grizzly Salvage here. Them using their Fatal Push there is interesting. Alright, still no vehicles. We'll take the Supplier. Hopefully we can play a Supplier and a Grease Fang. Alright, we 
we got a par or excuse me, we got a Sky Sovereign. I think that's definitely good enough here. We can have a block on the the rotting Regisaur, and we're just gonna kill the Shakedown Heavy. Give him that touch and lifelink. We definitely block here. Wow. Two Grease Fangs and no Parhelions. I think we can um, probably just use our Can't Stay Away to get back our Wayfinder. And then we get Eldritch Evolution if we hit a land. which we do, and we hit a chariot. So I'm gonna get the informant and discard the flagship. Ooh, or a Parhelion, that's interesting. With the, with the Sky Sovereign flagship, though, I could kill the Regisaur and the Soren. So I think I like that play. And they'll just concede. Okay, um, this hand looks good. Can supplier into Wayfinder into Eldridge Evolution. Definitely keep this. Being on the play is always nice as well. Hmm. Three three lands to the bin. That's unfortunate. Uh, we don't want to be drawing these Parhelions. It's already two in our hands. All right, at least we get a chariot to the graveyard. Oh no, I took the wrong land. Oh, I had to take, uh, oh no, I had to take Temple Guard in there. That was a huge mistake. Uh, I don't have double green now. It's very unfortunate. Well, that, that'll work out, I guess. All right, we should be in good shape as regardless. Yeah, it's a stupid mistake. We will just attack you with our Parhelion. Actually, we're gonna attack with everything. They want to block one of our 1-1s, one we're fine with that. Alright, we still have a chariot in the graveyard. an Eldritch Evolution on this informant to go get another informant to put the Parhelion back in the graveyard. Uh, we're drawing way too many Parhelions. Alright, it looks like they're sitting on Collected Company. They could find the apparition with their 
select a company and take my Grease Fang. Alright, well maybe they don't have collect a company. Okay, that was kind of weird. Seems like they would want to do that before. Alright, but they conceded anyway. If you've made it this far in the video, big thank you for watching. I hope this guide will help you and I will update the guide as the meta continues to shift. Let us end the video with the Grease Fang prayer. Our holy Grease Fang, who art in Kamagawa, hallowed be thy name. Thy parhelion come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in the multiverse. Give us this day our daily manna, and forgive us of our mulligans, as we forgive opponents who play spirits. And lead us not into temptation of bad keeps, but deliver us from thought seas. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.